I was underground, in the tube. That's what saved me. Everything above ignited. The temperature reached thousands of degrees. People on the streets burned alive in seconds. Metal melted. The asphalt bubbled. Some left nothing but shadows on the walls, like in Hiroshima. Moments later came the shockwave. It swept away buildings, buses, glass towers. It crushed concrete, bent steel. The city center ceased to exist. What didn't evaporate caught fire. A firestorm rose into the sky. The flames consumed the oxygen. People died even if they didn't burn, simply because there was nothing left to breathe. And then the rain came. Not salvation, but black. Warm, thick, lethal. It was full of radioactive dust, ash, filth, remains of the city. We didn't know. We caught raindrops on our palms. Some drank from puddles. Then came vomiting, sickness, hair falling out. Radiation, invisible, scentless. Only the Geiger counter screamed like mad. The water, poisoned. The food, ash. The air, toxic. We survived. We found a supermarket filled with cans. It was a feast. Beams, felt like a holiday. Then people started dying, the ones who seemed untouched, from the inside. It had a name, acute radiation syndrome. First, nausea, then a strange improvement, and then death. No doctors, no medicine. We just watched as our bodies tore themselves apart. We trapped rats, cooked them, ate them. The wind carried radioactive dust from the center, even a month later, the levels were deadly. We learned to hear it by the crackling of the counter. Those with a meter survived. The rest didn't. We slept beside books. Old physics textbooks became our survival manuals. They told us, after seven hours, the radiation drops tenfold. After two days, a hundredfold. We waited. We counted. We believed. After a year, the city had changed. Green had taken over. Nature doesn't fear radiation like we do. Foxes wandered Piccadilly. The booms escaped from the zoo. Even trees broke through concrete. London turned into a jungle, silent, empty of people. But some remained, a few of us. We built a camp. We grew potatoes. We learned to filter water. We found solar panels and figured out how to charge torches. Children were born, not all of them healthy. We live among ruins like primitives, but we still have memory and science. We know all of this could have been prevented, all of it. One strike, one city, millions of lives. If you're hearing this, remember, Nuclear war is not a game, not a headline, not a film plot. It is ash. It is a world where ambulances never come. I'm not asking you to be afraid. I'm asking you to remember, because memory is what will save the next London. Because hope is all we have left. <laughs>